I continue to get lots and lots of questions about the escalation clause. I'm going to stress to me what is the most important in the document and how your buyer is not at risk if you do what I suggest. At the very beginning of the document, we talk about an escalating factor. That's how much your buyer is going to beat the next best net buy. Have no problem with you putting numbers in there. I've seen them as, slow, as low as 500 and believe it or not, as high as $11,000 for that uh, escalating factor. My problem is with the cap number. Your buyer wants to offer 200, but you put in the cap that will pay up to 225 if we're escalated. And to me, that's giving away confidential information that you shouldn't be giving away. So I always urge you to put either no cap or none in that blank. That way, theoretically, your client could be escalated to a billion dollars. But Jay, that means my client could pay more than they wanna pay. No, it doesn't, because no matter what the situation, if they are escalated, the seller must give them a counteroffer saying you've been escalated to this number, at which point the buyer can always reject the counteroffer and walk away from the transaction. So we are not at risk for making our buyers pay more than they really wanna pay without putting anything in that cap line.